is traveling third class. I have her papers to leave Sweden. I have her uh, doctor's inspection card for the Titanic. Because back then, if you were traveling third class and you and you had a ticket, you still wouldn't get on without clearance from a doctor. You had to be free of lice, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So I have her doctor's inspection card. I have her baggage claim. I have her ticket and her ticket stub. And the reason why they all uh, survived yeah. is she was one of the very few third class passengers who got off on the lifeboat. And it was very cold that night. And because of being third class, you don't have a lot of possessions. Her storage for all her papers was in her coat pocket. So she put her coat pocket on, got a lifeboat, and that's how they got off. But same thing on Titanic. Titanic, Titanic Olympic, it's the, that era. Uh, this is uh, from the a la carte restaurant. And this has the older sign. You can see the White Star Line logo. Uh -huh. This is this uh, logo here is O N S C. It stands for Oceanic Navigation Steamship Company, which was the parent company of the White Star Line. Okay. And uh, this is probably the oldest China here. You can see the old and White Star Line. Uh -huh. And uh, it's really hard to tr to trace this China. We believe it's one of the first uh, Chinas used on the White Star Line. It's probably circa 1880. And there's only seven pieces known to exist. You can wow. count how many pieces are there. I've got two pieces to go. <laughs> and of course, we know about this That's one. This amazing. one is the Holy Grail and the, the magic on this one. And this is all real 24 karat gold, as you can tell. That's great. And there's the, uh, the Spode R4331. Yeah, yeah, that's and the R4. You hold it so she can get you. I got it. I got it. Yeah. yeah. R4331 and 4332 are the, the big ones from Titanic. I have a 4332 cup and saucer, uh -huh. but that's in a museum. Most of my stuff there is, is in two different museums right now. This one kind of unclear, probably circa 1900s. It's White Star Line, the Ocean Edge, and uh, this one is also it's pro they think it's the the first class buffet or room oh, service. Yeah. So this is room service. Okay. Uh, this one's referred to as a snowflake pattern. It's really kind of unclear again uh, where and when this was used. This is probably 1920s. This is probably after Titanic. Second class, you see it's uh, the, the blue is primarily used in second class. And this is all first class here. This is a condiment uh, plate that's really kind of cool with the three sections in it. Amazing. And yeah. there's a first class plate here. And this is very rare. It's a kosher dish from the White Star Line from the stained glass uh, there from, from the Titanic, oh, from, wow. the, from the, uh, the smoking room. Oh my gosh. Okay, you want to see the most emotional Titanic piece I've got here? Yeah. This is sheet music taken from uh, Wallace Hartley's body. He was a violin player, you know, played as he was yeah, singing and everything. That's that. That's yeah. that. Yeah, guy? it's him. And uh, his body was found 10 days later. And his, uh, he had his violin in his case on his back with the sheet music. And the violin just sold in England last year for $1.7 million. And How does it try? I got the sheet music. How? <laughs> they need it. Well, it's, it's, it, it, was, it was salvaged in 1912. It was only in the water for 10 days in his case. Oh, okay. And I've got all the forensic papers and the documentation.